I see Jerry's life as, as tremendously successful. This is a person who who lived uh, completely on her own terms, and she, you know, she left um, the country after her uh, after her defeat, I guess we would say, of not being able to go to space. And then she went and spent the rest of her life in the Amazon, uh, working with tribes and kind of flying uh, in this total freedom that she found. So I think her her imagination helped her to uh, have a certain resilience and to envision this whole other uh, life for herself after the, the traditional path was cut down. Obviously, we've made a lot of progress in terms of women in the workplace and women in traditionally male-dominated fields. But um, you know, this year we've seen a resurgence of interest in these these stories about women going into space. Right? We've seen hidden figures. We have all these stories suddenly of women uh, working for the space program. And I don't think it's an accident. I think, um, given the election and given what's kind of in the uh, the unconscious of the country right now, I think we're very interested in stories about women uh, shooting for the moon, as it were, and um, and paying a huge price for being the one to pave the way.